What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow, and welcome to Planes and Simple 4X Edition, officially. Obviously, you guys saw last week's video where we set up the map, and as far as setting up the map goes, we purchased all the equipment, we plowed the fields together, we got rid of trees, all the stuff like that. Now, you will notice something that uh, is not here anymore, and that is the corn. So, the corn was in the big field, okay, the big field that we've plowed together was all full of corn, and I did live stream chaffing the corn. We did about two hours at night, I had to help them, my, wow, words are hard, I had to help mom with some stuff, so I was not able to go longer than two hours. Now, I screwed up that stream, I'll fully admit, I totally messed up that stream and did not record it and uh, did not feel like getting it off Twitch because it's just not the quality that I like, okay? If that makes sense. I, I just I can record it in so much higher quality than I can stream in. So it wouldn't be the quality that I'm kind of used to and that I want. So I didn't worry about that. So I lost that stream. Now, finishing up the chaff actually happened the next, well, that night and the next day, I guess, by a community member, Bison. He took it upon himself, which I am just super grateful of him to, for doing this for me. And he finished up the chaff. And I believe I talked about this in a, in a past video, but still nonetheless, he finished up the chaff. It took him like 10 and a half hours to do it by himself. And uh, that's just insane. And I greatly appreciate it, sir. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I don't have any footage of that either, obviously. So you guys on YouTube anyway, missed out on the chaff party, but really not that big of a deal. We're just cutting chaff and uh, putting it in the storage at the homestead. So not really a huge deal, honestly, but you know, I did see that there was a couple of you guys that wanted to see that, but I am sorry. And uh, yeah, I'll try not to lose footage again. <laughs> the other thing you may have noticed, I decided to start ourselves with, to start us off with oh my god words are hard one dollar so we're like bob barker one dollar bob our drew if you're a new watcher of the uh price is right i was gonna say family feud and i knew that wasn't right price is right one dollar bob anyway you know we can make money on this map so efficiently and so quickly that i was like you know what i'm gonna start with one dollar and we're gonna work our way up from there we do have 400 cows we need to get food so we can feed them, but we do have 400 cows purchased already. Um, we will need to set up our conveyor belts again over there to clean the cows or something to clean the cows. We'll figure that out. Probably going to do conveyor belts again just because it's, you know, you set it up and you just walk away. And it's oh so nice then. So part of going to the new map here, and I believe there is a way where I would not have to do what I'm doing right now, but I wanted to redo them all anyway. Redoing all of my course play courses for every field and every auger wagon and every truck. And the really cool thing here is, and I didn't know this for the longest time, you can actually make folders in your course play. And you'll see me throughout this video kind of derp with it till I understood how it actually worked. But I have it now, okay? It's pretty simple, so... It just took me a minute to kind of figure it out and uh yeah we are good to go and of course i have my gun on or my auger wagon on the wrong setting because that's what i do <laughs> that's what i do so you guys will notice some new things about this map in the homestead like we just passed the potato steamer and cleaner I'm not going to say that other word potato cleaner and steamer as long as they're as well as the beet pulp maker so if we want to get into pigs, which we may eventually, we'll actually have to clean the potatoes, steam the potatoes, and use the beet pulp maker to be able to make the pig food. So Stevie has really changed this map, even though it looks the same. Here around the homestead, there's a lot of changes, a lot of improvements. We will be logging on this series now. We'll have to get some money, obviously, so we can do that. We will be hauling our milk eventually from the cows because there's a whole milk plant there now which is pretty awesome so stevie really has changed up the 4x map compared to the regular planes and simple and i'm i don't know i'm i'm just 
I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. In fact, you guys know I record this series for about an hour, hour and ten minutes or so. That's how long these videos actually are before I high speed them. And I recorded two yesterday, plus played a lot more. <laughs> so, I am thoroughly enjoying this map. You know, recorded two episodes, plus played for <laughs> a couple hours in between, and then a couple hours after. I played this map a lot yesterday. I have played this map a lot yesterday, so... I know some of you might be saying it's kind of weird that I took away all the money, but it kind of, I wouldn't say it added, adds a challenge because it's not hard to get money on this map. It's just, you know, when we're sitting there with, I think on the other map, when I got done selling everything, it was like 13 or 15 million or some crap. It's like, that's great and all, but where's the challenge, you know? So I was like, let's just start over and, and go from there. It just made sense for me to start over, honestly. It really did. So, there is that. We need more auger wagons, by the way. I, I've learned that we probably will be bringing in some mods to this map eventually. And when I say mods, I mean modded combines, modded trailers, maybe modded trucks. Um, maybe modded auger wagons. I don't know yet, but definitely mods will be coming into the series a little bit. I don't want to go and use like all mods because you know, the theory of the series was to use in-game equipment. And I think we're getting along fairly well with in-game equipment. Don't get me wrong, but it would be nice. There you see me derping with the folders, but once I get the folder thing figured out, it's awesome. It would be nice to have some modded some modded equipment you know it really would be nice especially combines but then the problem is if you have combines that go fast let's say or hold more you have to be able to haul it away fast enough and with our current auger wagon situation i don't think that's going to work very well at all so that is a thing so we're definitely gonna have to get some bigger auger wagons rolling and just more of them because these big fields one auger wagon per combine is just not enough. It's just not enough. So it's all good, though. It's all good. Um, the other thing that we will be doing is... is uh, what was I going to say? Oh, we can do sugarcane on here now. Not that I'm excited to do sugarcane, but I kind of want to mess with sugarcane with course play. You know, course play the, the worker to run alongside of him. And then... Uh, you know, like that could be fun. So we'll probably pick the smallest field on this map, which I'm not sure what it is right now, and dedicate that to a sugarcane field. The other thing with this map, there's a couple new crops on this map. There's a lucerin. I think that's how you say it, lucerin, which is basically a hay crop. So think of it as like a alpha alpha is what I would kind of say it's like. That's just me. I don't know that to be fact, but... Basically, you use it to cut as hay, and you can make like ch or chaff, and therefore making silage out of it, stuff like that. So, probably gonna plant a field in that as well. You know, we'll have a grass field, we'll have a lucerne field. Eventually, eventually, we need to uh, get some money coming in, obviously, to be able to purchase some fields. And then I'm honestly thinking about dedicating some fields to certain crops, so we don't harvest all of our fields every time we harvest when we like, oh, we want this, let's go harvest that. And there, that would kind of come along maybe when we get into the pigs, because, you know, you need corn and you need potatoes and you need sugar beets. So we're gonna have to do that stuff eventually, but it's all good. We will obviously go big into cows first. If we have 400 now, I'd like to get at least a thousand before we actually jump into another animal. The second animal, of course, is pigs, or not pigs, sheep of course it's sheep why wouldn't why not so we will definitely get into sheep we're probably going to need a second grass field uh, yeah we might need another actual just grass field i know we have field nine but it's kind of small and i don't know i just i don't use it it just kind of sits there maybe that would be a good sugar cane field i don't know actually that probably would be because it's not very big and uh it's not too far from the homestead for trucks and stuff so Maybe we'll do sugarcane there. I don't know. All in due time when we get some money rolling in. The first way we're going to make a bunch of money is through the wheat crop that we are harvesting right now. Of course, we, you know, all of our fields are set up in wheat and 
it's a lot of money or it, it's a lot of wheat i should say therefore it will be a lot of money eventually um i actually thought about doing missions on this map and just like hot you know start a mission and go to bed basically and hey come back next morning hey i got money but i don't think i'm gonna do missions because some of the missions there was a mission for like five hundred thousand dollars granted it's like a massive field and whatever you're driving in the mission you're probably going to run out of fuel so it's kind of one of those things where you need to monitor it and have a fuel tank sitting there ready so probably not going to do that but uh i thought about it i definitely thought about it so yeah just it's it's kind of fun having to run through all these courses again and get them all set up like i want it's a whole thing i i'm trying to be smarter with my courses you'll notice you know we don't have trucks running multiple directions in the same like area the only one that really crosses the path of anything is the trucks for field one but it's, it's at so far as of playing you know two two episodes worth it's not an issue so there is that so that's good that's very good i'm happy that it's not an issue but uh it's something to keep my eye on of course but it's not a concern right now so yeah we'll do we will do the uh what's it called the wheat will make us money we are going to pick up all the straw we will be selling probably a fair bit of that at the biogas plant to get our digestate built up so that we can make fertilizer fuel and seed uh we definitely are not seed both fertilizers and fuel liquid solid fertilizer and fuel we need to make all of them we have none in storage or whatever Stevie gave us that little bit to start the map. So therefore, we really need to pick up every ounce of straw that's out there or every liter of straw that's out there and get that converted over. And Well, I'm probably going to run through the crops in order. So the next crop will probably be barley and that, therefore it's another straw crop. So we'll probably pick up barley straw as well because, you know, we have we're going to need a lot of straw. <laughs> basically is what I'm what I'm getting at here. I would I wouldn't mind filling both of the tanks of digestate over at the biogas plant and, and just kind of be done with it, you know? If you just fill them both and then that's like I think it's a couple million liters and or I don't know, it's a lot of lot of liters per tank. And uh it might be 5 million liters of digestate. I'm not sure. I'll have to have to figure it out. I will have to figure it out. I believe the homestead storage on this map has been turned up, of course, because it is a 4X map. And, uh, yeah, so that's good. Hopefully we won't have any issues with filling that again, like we did with uh, chaff before, but we should be okay. We should be okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about in this video is that I appreciate you guys voting for the 4X. I, of course, was not going to do 4X unless you guys really wanted to see it, but I was really kind of set on doing the 4X part of this map and continuing the series, kind of bringing new life to the series in a way and uh, just rolling with it, you know, just rolling with it. So I appreciate you guys voting to like the one person that voted no for the 4X. I'm sorry, but I hope you continue to watch and I hope you continue to enjoy it. I mean, in the beginning here, you know, starting with really this video, for the next few here it's not going to be much different than the regular size map it's not going to be much different at all you're going to get to see some biogas stuff um, probably not going to i don't know how much that will show but you guys will definitely get to see some biogas stuff i may try to set up course play over there again i i really want a dump truck and and people keep sending me dump trucks and the dump trucks that people send me just don't work so <laughs> At least I can't get them to work on course play. Maybe it's just me. Everybody else is like, oh, yeah, that truck works fine. So clearly there's another mod that is conflicting with, you know, at least I have a feeling there's something else conflicting there that's not very happy. So I am saving all of my combine courses as well, as you can tell. And the reason for that is picking up straw. I want to be able to pick up straw. So we need to save our combine courses. I don't know what was up with this. His offset was just like horrendous and it should go to auto and it should be fine. But for some reason, their offsets at times were horrendous, but for the most part, we're getting along with course play this go around. 
you can see his offset was only like six. It needs to be like 10 or 11, somewhere in there. GSIN. And what I'm doing is I'm also turning up the speed that they drive in the field to the max speed because, uh, and actually I turned up the wrong one on this, on one of the combines. But if you turn that up, when he's driving back to, say, the start point of the course, he'll drive at, you know, 26 instead of, like, 10. And it, it helps a lot. Obviously, I should probably be using faster tractors here. But, I don't know, I just like my quad tracks. They're good on GPS, or not GPS, course play. For the most part, they're pretty good on course play, so. Yeah, look at all those T9s. Gotta love them all. <laughs> Uh, I am getting used to vehicle group switcher. I changed up. By the way, I love that shed. Thanks, Tree Cutter 99 for parking stuff. He came in during that stream I did where we set up, and he parked pretty much everything on the map. I just, like, drove it around and stuff. But I'm getting used to the new order that vehicle group switcher's in. So if you see me, like, pull up vehicle group switcher and just kind of look at it, there's, there's reasons. And the reason would be I'm getting used to the new layout, so... There is that. And like always, had some trouble getting the more going, but I think it's more of my fault than anything. I just wouldn't let him do his thing, and then he's like, it was a whole thing. But we got him going, and that's all that matters. We got him going eventually here. Um, this actually could be a mod as well to get, like, a big M, let's say. You know, not, 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 not like the big M wide. Because I've heard that thing and I think that thing and course play don't like each other, but definitely a big M would be nice eventually, you know, try to speed up the process at times, you know, just saying, try to speed up the process. So I'll be looking at mods again here soon. It's been actually a while since I've looked at mods. If you guys have any mod suggestions for this map, I guess you can always email me a link, pumaplot.gmail.com. Um, I will download mods only from like two places, and that's the Mod Hub, and which you can find all the links in the Mod Hub mods from the Farm Sim website, or uh, what is it, FS, whatever it is, the mod website that I always use that I can't think of right now. Those are the two places I'll download from. Let me let me look it up real fast actually while we're talking here. It is ls17mods.com, ls17mods.com. Those are like the only places I'll download mods from, ls17mods.com and the Mod Hub. So if you guys have links of mods you think I need to bring into this map, feel free to send them to me, boomplot.gmail.com. I would appreciate it. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm sitting here scrolling through mods now. <laughs> Is that bad? Is that bad? Okay. Uh, one mod I actually would, would really like to put on here is the follow me mod. Simply because doing things like moving the T9s around. You know, sometimes I need to move four tractors. And instead of having to drive it four times. I think I'm just going to put follow me mod on here. And call it done. So, there's that. That or I guess I could set up a, um, like a course play course. To drive over here to drive back to the shed or something but follow me i feel like would just be better i need to get that again it's been a while since i've had follow me on anything but you know for setting up these loading wagons here and these these trailers for uh, picking up the grass it would be nice it would be very very nice i wonder if that truck works Forty thousand liter capacity Ooh, we're gonna leave that opened up on my <laughs> other screen here it's a little cab over truck, but 40,000 liter capacity, that would be okay for doing things like trying to make mixed rations or the biogas stuff, you know, having pull out 40,000 liters of seed and fertilizer and stuff. Uh, as soon as I get, get done voicing this video over, I'm going to try that truck. Actually, not this video. The next video, I got to do it back to back, but that's, you know, here nor there. Um, obviously, like everything else I set up on this map... I have to set up a new course here, too, because <laughs> all our courses are gone. But you can notice here, I'm taking kind of the scenic route. However, it's just going to work for better flow around the map if I take the scenic route at times on course play. So instead of having two or three tractors and trailers to keep up with the forage harvester here, we, we had to have four. And... At first it was a little thing, but you'll see that in the next video. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed 4X Planes and Simple. I'm your boy, John from Humble Plow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, toodles.